All right, today is February 8th, 2022. This is two puppies. They are both F1B Pure Doodles out of our bug who was born here. And Doc, our gorgeous black and white standard poodle. This is the dark pink one. And we would, uh, I can't remember. I think her name is Summit. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. The names are uh, alongside the um, photos on their page. And I've also got some featured photos that I'm taking of just these two. Um, I was hoping that they wouldn't pay attention to me, that they might just play a little bit, but they'd rather have their siblings around. But I thought it would be easier to just kind of uh, observe these puppies by themselves. Again, these are both available, F1B Pyridoodles. You can find more information on our website, www.lawpdoodle.k, the number nine, manor, M-A-N-O-R. Okay, you can also find our website under uh, sheepadoodles, with an S, dot com. Okay, and, um, Anyway, that is our girl, our pink pie girl. That's the siblings right on the other side of the wall in the holding pen. They're not, they can hear my voice and they're not happy that they, <laughs> that their two sibling, there are two other siblings got to play fun without them. So, and this is our boy, they are both sables. He's a little bit of a darker sable, so he will hold his color a lot more. However, she has got a lot of dark color in her face. So, and she's got a little black stripe on her tail, which is absolutely adorable. Some black spots, even in her spots on her back, as you can see. Those tend to generally retain their color, even as the brown kind of gets a little creamier. Now, in his case, he's a darker sable, so he's probably going to hold more. He, although he'll fade some, he probably will ouch, hold more color variation in his coat. Okay. Um, they turn eight weeks old tomorrow, which is the 9th of um, February. I don't know what I said earlier, but what, <laughs> it's the 9th of February. I hope I didn't say January. This year is already flying by, but it's the 9th of January, uh, 2022. And, or today's the 8th, tomorrow's the 9th, that they will turn eight weeks. Okay. Sorry, but all that barking in the background generally does distract me. Um, and they are available anytime after tomorrow. I will be on the road to Pittsburgh next week. Um, haven't confirmed whether I will be going to Lavelle, Maryland or not. Um, don't have, I still don't have a date on that. And, uh, Otherwise, we will be here most Fridays and Saturday. Saturday, I have at least two appointments already for the siblings to go home for these puppies. Uh, that would be the 12th, okay? Um, so I, I'll be here available between one and four. If you need a special time, not before late morning, <laughs> please let me know. Um, and we do not do anything after four o'clock, okay? Uh, so, just once again, wanted to introduce these guys to you. Whether I can catch any still photos of them at this point, I'm not really sure. Um, I have a couple of really cute ones just taken a couple of days ago. So, um, And there they both stood still. So even if you wanted to screenshot on the video, you'll have a still shot. Okay. So he is a light gray collar, the boy is, and she is the dark pink collar on our website. And uh, their ID names are next to them. They're all Jeep. Um, it's a Jeep theme because we just bought a new Jeep recently, so that's what I decided to do. Our litter do any day now of sheep -a doodles is probably going to be a Valentine's litter. All right. Uh, she's actually due on Valentine's, but we, <laughs> we don't think she's going to be waiting that long based on uh, how she looks. But uh, so far, no indication of early stages of labor. Um, we do have a video camera on them 24-7 so that we can observe them even when we're over at the house and check on them, okay? Usually in the final days when I know it's gonna be any time, if they haven't delivered at night, I keep my phone by my bed, wake up a few times a night and check her just to make sure everything's okay. Prefer daytime deliveries, but don't we all? Uh, 
But anyway, we just pray that everything goes well. She looks very big, which sometimes makes me nervous because big litters are more challenging, not just in the care, but just even in the early days to keep everybody thriving. So I prefer a litter of six to eight on average, but occasionally we get that 10 to 12, sometimes more, but uh, whatever God has in store for us. So anyway, this is Lollapadoodle Canine Manor. And once again, we appreciate reviewing our puppies. And again, the, <laughs> look at her sprawled out. Um, again, these are uh, F1B second generation, an F1 Pyridoodle bred back to a standard poodle. And of course, Bug was raised here out of one of our Pyrenees. Okay, so thank you very much for reviewing our puppies. I see you. I see you. And God bless.